Hello everybody, my name is Lance here. I'm a sales consultant at TransWest Tractor RV located in Belton, Missouri. Today I'd like to talk to you about this 2020 Allegra Open Road 34 PA that we just got in. Uh, the customers, boy I tell you what, barely had a chance to use it. It only has right around 6,400 miles on it and she is in like new condition. I want to take us uh, down the side of this coach here. I mean, you got tires, they're Michelin. So uh, it's on the uh, F53 chassis. You got the 22 and a half inch uh, Alcoa uh, Durabrite rims. So those are the ones that you really don't need to polish. They stay bright and polished for you. You got some great storage down here. <clears throat> and I like what they've done here. They actually brought the hydraulics out to, the, uh, out to one of the storage bays. Uh, it makes accessibility and serviceability a whole lot easier. So life gets a little bit easier for your technician. You got some really nice pass-through storage here. Got the rotocast lining. You do have a really nice wet bay. Now what they do is they actually have a water jet system that actually uh, carves that out of the metal so you don't ever have to worry about ink wearing away. That's gonna be a lifetime so you can tell what's going on with your wet bay. And as we come down here, you're gonna see that we have a 7,000 watt Onan generator. Now it does have the pass-through storage just above that generator and it's a little extra wide, what makes that nice. It's a great place to store picnic tables. So uh, you're gonna see that we have a nice beautiful magnum inverter. You do got the surge guard, uh, surge guard protection for your uh, electricity. This is, I like the, look, the fact they got a knockout here so you don't have to snake this big old cord through a hole. It makes life a little easier. I love the colors on this coach. I like that little burnt orange that they put in there. It gives it a nice little pop. Uh, you do have a ladder here where you can get up on and check on the roof. Uh, they do have uh, two solar panels up there. So this coach is equipped with solar. It is equipped with a uh, nice uh, aftermarket Sumo suspension package. And the customer did let me know that they added the safety uh, steering stabilization system. You got a couple, you got a uh, chassis battery down there with your disconnects. Again, pass-through storage there, so you're definitely not going to be hurting for storage. I love how, how tipping doors shut, right? I mean, it's just really effortless. Got your beautiful propane tank there, easy access, but look how easy that is to shut. Just sounds great, easy on the hands. This is going to be an access uh, port here for your residential refrigerator so they can get to your water lines, uh, your power, just nice, easy access. The fact that they put that door there really makes it nice and so you don't have to pull the whole refrigerator out. Uh, this is going to be your uh, fresh water tank. What's nice about this is you can actually uh, open this door and you don't have to guess if for some reason your monitoring system was down, you can come out here and give it an eye check and see real quick where you're at. They did uh, upgrade this coach to the Trum AquaGo system so this is going to be your on-demand hot water heater system so as long as you got a fresh water source and a power source you're going to have you're going to have hot water. Coach is equipped with central vac. Uh, they did bring this central vac system to change your bags out a little bit closer to the baggage door, so easy to uh, get in there and change those out. Does come with the LG uh, TV here with a sound bar. Life is good when you pair that with the sound bar, right? Okay. Now, as we come down here, you can see we just got more pass-through storage. And customer does, did order this to have this thing with the direct current and a 110 outlet. I think they had plans to put maybe like a basement freezer in there. All right, guys. Well, that concludes our walk around for the, uh, this beautiful 2020 Allegro bus. Um, just before we go in there, I want to kind of... Uh, now, I don't know if this is true, but I heard uh, that Bob tip in this lower window where this came from. Bob was driving a coach, almost ran somebody over. So ever since then, all of his motorhomes come with this little window. So as you're making a right, it kind of takes that little, it gives you a little bit more information on maybe a human being standing here as you're making your right-hand turn. I don't see any coaches doing it except for Tiffin. So pretty neat little, pretty neat little feature there. And I just love how uh, Tiffin put this nice, big, beautiful emblem here. You know, they had a machine that out. They could have painted it on, but they went the extra mile and did it right. All right, let's go take a look and see what we've got inside. Hey, everybody. Now that we're in this uh, beautiful 2014 Allegra Open Road 
I want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on with this particular floor plan. So this floor plan was modeled after their Allegro Bus 37 AP model. Uh, it's got some pretty neat features. We just actually took this in just recently and what's nice about it is this coach is really in like new condition. It has about 6,400 miles, overall miles on it. And they did equip it with solar. Some other nice features is um, they did have the Sumo suspension put on it and uh, after driving it, um, I guess talking with some friends, they actually added the Safety Plus steering stabilization system. So this Croach doesn't only just look good, it drives extremely nice. So let's come up in here to the cab area. I want to kind of show you kind of what's kind of going on is um, uh, you got a really nice bunch of cabinets. This, I think this is what they call their amber glaze. I definitely need to check into that, but I'm pretty sure this is the amber glaze cabinets. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, Tiffin's really well known for their cabinet work. Does come with a power management system. Uh, so the auto gen start, if you guys are out uh, tooling around the desert, if your batteries start getting low, this coach will automatically start your generator, charge up your batteries. When they get charged, it'll shut off the generator for you. And uh, it does uh, actually have a couple solar panels on the roof too. So uh, this is gonna be a nice coach for somebody. Now this is gonna be on the uh, F53 chassis. It'll have the Triton V10 motor. This being a 34 PA model, I mean, this motor is all you need. I mean, this is a fairly uh, short coach for what that motor is. So if you're gonna be towing a, a tow vehicle behind it, it'll do it pretty effortlessly. So now, uh, coming into the living room, this couch here, it's, it's got an extremely big uh, uh, hide-a-bed. You're talking the full width of this couch. You know what, let's just, let's just pull this thing out because it is absolutely huge. We got, usually they're about three, I would say three cushions wide. This thing's four cushions wide. Yeah, they are. So if you need that little extra sleeping space, this is gonna be pretty nice. All right. So I would say that is about a 60 by 75, so an RV queen. And what I like about this, is you can see that I still got all the space here to get by. Your guests are gonna be able to enjoy watching the TV. Uh, got a nice little fireplace here next to the bed. So pretty neat little feature. All right guys, today I wanna to talk to you about uh, Tiffin's little, uh, this is where it controls central here. What I really love about this system is there's a lot of neat features here. You can control your, your heating and cooling here you can actually control all your lights so we can turn everything off we can turn everything on or and i like these two little functionalities we can turn bedroom off bedroom on and uh it's one of the other nice features that uh when you first come into your coach a lot of times it's just like roasting hot right and then it's just like oh man hurry up air conditioner i want to get this thing start cooling down well they actually have a, a function here where you can come in and you can actually open up your max air vent fans and without having to go to each one individually, you just push the button and it starts pumping the hot air out of the coach. And then once, once you got the hot air out of the coach, by then you got your air conditioning, it's catching up with the rest of it. And uh, just a nice little feature there. So as you're walking by, you're gonna see just at a, at a quick view here, it lets you kind of know uh, what, what the temperature is in the front part of the coach, what the temperature is in the rear part of the coach. Right now you can see front is 77 degrees, the rear is 65 degrees. So it kind of lets you know, maybe you need to raise or lower your air conditioner to kind of keep a more even environment, or maybe that's where you want it. Um, lets you know where your chassis batteries are at, how full they are, tank levels, things of that nature. So anyway, just a nice little neat feature uh, with what's going on with this coach and the functionality and the controllability of all the systems on this coach. All right, let's continue the rest of the tour. Okay, and so over here, we have a, a nice little dinette. 
What I like about this is this dinette, I would say is properly positioned because I like that the fact that it's situated near your dinette. You know, if I'm sitting here and I'm having a meal, I think the last thing I want to do is be looking at my neighbors. So you're, you're over here, patio side, nice big window. And this also breaks down into a bed. But as we come into the kitchen, you're going to see that there is a nice big, beautiful window here as well. Beautiful solid surface countertops. You actually have a little uh, power distribution center. You got uh, two 110 outlets there along with uh, two USB ports. So you're not going to be lacking for power. Nice under cabinet lights. You do have an additional plug in over here. So uh, you're not going to be starving for power. And I like this little built in. Uh, Tiffin does a lot of this where they put a lot of the built ins right into the into the drawers. So um, really nice cabinet work. Uh, what do we got here? We got a convection oven. Really nice big drawers here. I mean, people always complain they don't have enough storage in the kitchen. I think you're going to be just fine with this guy. This is going to be a three burner stove. This is going to be a Furion gas cooktop, but it has a, what I like to call the pancake burner. So if you want to get the bigger square pan, you've got something there where you can cook some of them bigger items. And uh, all right, coming down this way, you're going to see that we have this beautiful Whirlpool refrigerator. Nice three door, really big refrigerator. Man, this thing is huge. Okay, now the part that I think that really sells this coach is going to be this bathroom. As we come in here, you're going to see that this thing does have the washer dryer and a really nice big shower. Now I'm about six foot, 260 pounds. I'm just gonna get in here and just kind of show you guys. I've got all kinds of room up here. There's a skylight so that if I, I mean, you know, Andre the Giant could probably be in here. It's pretty big. Beautiful hardware in here. Nice little inset. Um, you got a nice porcelain toilet here. Little towel rack. Nice deep storage, right? Where are you gonna put towels, right? Nice little place where you can store some towels. I like how they bring this over with the uh, nice deep medicine cabinet. You do have an outlet down here as well. Plenty, plenty of storage here. And what I'm noticing here is on this slide, Tiffin actually worked it to where there's actually no carpet here on the slide out. So they follow the solid surface down here to the kick plate area. So nice solid surface down here as well. And then as we move into the bedroom, they kind of give it a nice softer tone. You got your amber glaze cabinets here along with the uh, kick plate down here to match the rest of the cabinet. So it has a nice flow to it. So you got a really beautiful king bed here. You do have your USB ports and 110 outlets on both sides of the bed. Uh, plenty of deep cabinet space up above. I've actually heard some customers talking about maybe they put a CPAP up here. You've got a uh, power outlet where you can plug that in. So. Uh, if you're hanging your CPAP here, it's a nice way where you can roll left and right and you're not rolling over your hose. Some really nice big drawers here. Got some big drawers. And I like how this, this closet space actually lights up. It's got a sensor there. So as soon as you open up that door, it lights up for you. And what do we got over here? Little entertainment cabinet. Uh, you've got your uh, Blu-ray 3D DVD player and uh, got a little Wally thing there for satellite. More drawers. You're definitely not hurt, hurting for storage. All right, well guys, um, that concludes our tour here on this beautiful 2020 Allegro Open Road 34PA. I would sure would love to help you with this. If you guys have any questions, uh, if you'd like to maybe do a little FaceTime video as I do a walk around and kind of point out some of the feature and benefits of this coach, I would sure love to help you with that. My number is 208-290-5750. Again, my name is Lance Ortega at TransWest here located in the Belton, Missouri location. And keep in mind, um, we're looking for uh, used RVs 2011 or newer, or maybe like a uh, anything truck-wise, three-quarter ton, uh, half-ton truck. We sure would love to 
show you some numbers. Look forward to hearing from you.